single third generation of civil engineers in the family. Civil engineers in general are responsible for a large part of what we really take for granted today. Look at infrastructure, look at roads, look at buildings, look at bridges. Civil engineers have in many ways been a part of the solution towards creating improvements and quality of life and human living. When we look at carbon dioxide today, um, for the last 20 years or so, we've always positioned it as a negative, right? So in my opinion, the messaging surrounding it is all wrong, simply because people don't like to hear things that are negative. We like to think, hear things that are positive. For those of us that do want to participate, it offers that opportunity that you, you, know, you can really change what the messaging, what messaging says. And what it leads to is, is this idea of how do you really influence not only opinion, but actions. If you say, well, instead of penalizing carbon dioxide because we're worried about a two degree Celsius threshold, we're gonna create an incentive structure that helps us achieve a two degree Celsius threshold. It becomes attractive. It becomes politically attractive. It becomes attractive to industry because they're the ones who are actually gonna implement it. It becomes value to an end consumer because they are people that are actually gonna use it. Broader perspective, what the price potentially creates is a thought structure and a model based upon how you really incentivize things that are hard to do. Um, I think specifically in the context of carbon dioxide, which is something which is heavily politicized and in some cases very, very debatable, it creates a way to be able to address challenges of the sort. I think I th that's really the big win, so to speak, creating this framework, creating this model, because that's really what we need to see. We need to show that it's enabling. And so if you think about myself as a civil engineer now in this, well, what I have the opportunity to do from a sort of selfish perspective or a personal perspective is I have the ability to be a part of a solution that civil engineers are gonna tackle leading into the 21st century. So that's the personal message, right? Why?